Hey there, hey, I love you, hold up, I gotta take a quick bathroom break, so, how's it going, you totally lost it there, no way, excuse me, seriously, come on, sit up, can you just look at me for a sec, you didn't hear me, you gotta use your ears, I know it's fun and all, but dad's got some work going on behind you, so he needs us to keep the noise down a bit, alright, if I have to ask you one more time, you're gonna be in trouble, got it, yeah, for sure, what did I say again? Right, it's not working for you guys, but Hillian and I need to be quiet, and don't forget, he needs it to be a bit quieter too, and if I have to remind you again, what happens, you'll lose my iPad, yup, phew, glad I got that sorted. Greetings, I express my affection towards you, please bear with me for a moment, as I need to step away briefly, how do you fare today, it appears you have lost focus, pardon me, please sit up. I kindly request that you address me directly, it seems you have not adhered to my request, you did not utilize your listening skills, I understand that you derive enjoyment from this interaction, however, your father is engaged in work in the area behind you and requires a more subdued environment, if I must reiterate this request once more, there will be consequences, is this clear to you, indeed, I comprehend, what was my instruction, while it may suit your preferences, both Helian and I require a quieter atmosphere, Additionally, what was the other aspect of my request? Your father necessitates a more muted sound level. If I must advise you again, what will be the consequence? You will lose access to my iPad. I am relieved to have addressed this matter. Hello, hello, I love you. Hold on. I gotta go pee. Hello, how are you? You lost it. No, well, excuse me? No, sit up. Please, please look at me. You didn't listen. You didn't use your ears. I know you enjoy it, but daddy's working behind you. I mean, he needs a little more quiet. Okay, if I have to tell you one more time, you're losing it. Okay, do we understand? Yes, I do. What did I say? Oh, it does work for you, but Hillian and I need to keep quiet. And what was the other part? Like, he needs a little bit quieter noise, and if I have to tell you again, what happens? You'll be losing my iPad, yeah, thank god I got that over with. Frequently asked questions, Q1, what should I do if someone is being too loud? A1, you should remind them to keep their voices quiet, especially if someone is working nearby. Q2, what happens if I continue to be noisy despite being asked to be quiet? A2, if you continue to be noisy, you may lose access to certain privileges, like your iPad. Q3, why is it important to listen when someone asks for quiet? A3, it's important to listen because it helps create a better environment for those who are working or concentrating. Q4, what should I say if I understand the request for quiet? A4, you can affirm your understanding by saying, yes, I do or summarizing what was said. Q5, how does being noisy affect the person who is working? A5, being noisy can distract the person working and make it difficult for them to focus. Key points. 1. Greeting and request. The speaker starts with enthusiastic greetings and a casual mention of needing to use the restroom. 
2. Interruption. There is a disruption in the conversation, leading to a reprimand about losing focus. 3. Request for quiet. The speaker emphasizes the need for quieter voices due to someone, referred to as daddy, working nearby. 4. Reiteration of consequences. The speaker warns that continued noise will result in losing access to the iPad. 5. Relief after discussion. The speaker expresses relief after addressing the issue. Hi there. Hi, I love you. Just a moment. I need to use the restroom. How are you doing? You've lost it. No. Well, excuse me. No. Sit up straight. Please. Just look at me. You weren't paying attention. You didn't use your ears. I know you enjoy it, but dad's working behind you, so he could use some quieter voices. All right. If I have to remind you one more time, you're going to lose it. Do we understand each other? Yes, I do. What did I say? Oh, it works for you, but Helian and I have to remain quiet. And what was the other part? He needs a bit less noise. If I have to remind you again, what will happen? You'll lose my iPad. Yes, I'm glad that's over with. Greeting expressed with affection. Hello, hello, I love you. Speaker is temporarily leaving to use the restroom. Request for attention and listening acknowledged. Emphasis on the need for quieter voices due to someone working nearby. A warning issued about consequences for not listening. Losing the iPad. What did the speaker initially say after greeting? What does the speaker indicate that daddy needs? What will happen if the speaker has to tell the listener again to be quiet? How did the speaker feel after getting something over with? What did the speaker ask for the listener to use? The transcribed text reflects a conversation where one person expresses affection with greetings, but is interrupted by a need to use the restroom. There is an interaction involving instructions about maintaining a quieter environment while another seeks to work. The speaker emphasizes the need for quieter voices, noting that if the instructions are not followed, there will be consequences, such as losing access to an iPad. The tone combines playful affection with a firm reminder about necessary behavior. The transcribed text consists of three identical greetings, all asking hello, how are you? What is the most repeated phrase in the transcript? How many times is the greeting repeated in the transcript? Which of the following is a possible response to the repeated question? What language is the transcript written in? What is the mood of the conversation indicated by the repeated phrase? Greeting exchanged multiple times, inquiry about well-being. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? Q. 
key points. Greeting. Hello. How are you? Repetition of the greeting three times. Wait. Frequently asked questions. Q. How are you? A. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? How about me? I'm doing just fine. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? What? Wait, now I hear a buzzing noise. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Buster! <laughs> Mm. Like, how about I do it in text speech?